What's going on everybody? Triple Crown 24 back with another TTM recap episode. We've got two to show off today. These are my first two returns in 2019. So we're going to reset the count today on the statistics. Apologies for the delay in getting this out. The first time I recorded this, the audio file, or at least the audio portion of it got corrupted. So refilming it here. This is the third try. Hopefully it works out this time, but uh, two returns today, one former player, one Bowman draft. As always, if you enjoy it, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and get into it. First up today, out of the Metroplex, Detroit, Michigan area. Two of two success coming in from former Major League catcher. Played for many years, best known for his time with the Blue Jays. That would be none other than Ernie Witt. So he signed the 88 Don Russ to start off. The year, last year I started off with Larry Boa as my first return, who signed 2 of 1. This year it will be Ernie Witt, who started off with Don Russ. Came out really well, even though he's wearing like a blue jersey here. The blue still pops, in my opinion. Looks pretty nice in person. This is the one that I was more so interested in. It's the 81 Tops. I picked up a lot of these when I did my flea market adventures a couple weeks ago. And... I have a lot of ADO on tops to send out now, so I'll probably be sending those off in between my current player attempts, or requests I should say, throughout early parts of 2019 and spring training, and especially in the regular season when I'm in between sending off to current players. So 2-2 two, two from Ernie Witt to start off, and you can read a little bit more about him on the right. Big part of the 87 Blue Jays team, that was a pretty big force to be reckoned with in the AL East. This was around the time that the Blue Jays were starting to reach their peak. Um, I would say that they eventually got there in the early 90s when they won the World Series in 92 and 93, but they were really starting to come around in the late 80s there. So thanks, Mr. Witt, for signing those two. This second one is my Bowman draft return today out of Manchester, New Hampshire. Don't send too many out to New Hampshire, but this one, pretty stoked about. One of my favorite players from this year's draft class, and he had a phenomenal rookie season, as you'll see when the stats pop up. It is Grant Levine, who is the first base prospect in the Colorado Rockies system. Sorry, I'm holding it off camera there. So he signed two of two. He signed in this metallic paint pen. I'm gonna try to get a focus on it. There we go. These pens I more so see used to sign like plastic things, so those like Funko Pop bobbleheads that people collect. A lot of times I will see the paint pens used to sign like the plastic of those so that they don't have to take the bobbleheads out of the box. And I think they look pretty cool. It really pops on this card. This is the paper base. He also signed this chrome. It doesn't pop quite as much on the chrome, but still looks very nice. So very happy to add two new Grant Levine autographs to my collection. I did pull his autograph in a box of Bowman as well, actually the same box that I got these cards from, so very stoked about that one. That one's headed off to PSA to get graded. I'll probably just end up moving that one at some point down the line and keep these two in my collection because they were sent to TTM, so that's why I send them off. I like to get the prospects. I like to get the Bowman draft guys because you never know who's going to become the next big star. and. It's always nice to wish these guys well. Um, I kind of talk about what I like about their game and my letters of request to these players in specific, or specifically I should say, and then you know wish them the best in their endeavors as they try to work towards their dream of becoming major league ball players. So two of two from Grant Levine caps off the first mail day of the year. So thank you guys so much for watching. Apologies for the delay in getting this one out. Like I said, this is my third time trying it and the last two times the edits the audio file got corrupted so i had to kind of push back this episode and all the other videos i have um queued up right now so a few things will be backlogged for the moment but thanks again for watching i'll see you next time have a good one